We are on the road today going towards uh, Austin, Texas. We're going to Hutto, which is outside of Austin, to pick up a registered Cooney Cooney pig. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> you want to tell them about this pig we're going to get? She's just an adult sow. She's a sow. She's already proven. <clears throat> and she is a cream colored hey. cooney cooney. Yeah. Which was a whole bunch of cream colors. <clears throat> That's why I wanted to go down and get this one. This one on just a lot of straight cream colored sows out there. So he took the day off work. To go get a pig <laughs> on a bumpy road. Yeah. That's why we're bumpy right now. Okay. We need to stop at Dairy Queen on the way home, and we got Dolly some ice cream to keep it cool because it's 103 degrees outside right now. <laughs> Look at that, she loves it. You're not really country till you buy ice cream for the pig in the back of your truck. <laughs> She's like, give it to me. <laughs> Yum! Well, here we are on the road again. Heading west this time. You want to tell them where we're going? Jacksboro, Texas. And why are we going? Grab some more pigs. More pigs. More pigs. More pigs. Barrow. Barrow. <laughs> and a guilt. You've been listening to KC Farms too much. Two gilts, a barrow, and a board. That's what we're grabbing today. Yes, more registered Cooney Coonies. Yeah, and oh, here's more of those, of ERCOT's wonderful electricity fans. <laughs> Bills. Yeah. <laughs> They're asking us to conserve energy right now because of this BS with all this clean energy. Because we don't have enough of it right now. I think we are on day 39 of over 100 degrees every single day. We haven't had rain in, I think they said, 36 days as of yesterday, so today would be 37 days. No rain and 100 degrees and above. Yesterday at our place it got up to 109 degrees. Thought we were going to fall out trying to get the animals taken care of last night before we left. We drove all the way to Jacksboro from northeast Texas last night. Got about three and a half hours sleep, and uh, we actually stayed the night in Bridgeport at a hotel. And got about three and a half hours sleep, and now we're raring to go. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of energy. We 
We got our new babies back here, and uh, we had to stop a tractor supply and get some water tubs. Let me hold this up. Here's some of our new babies right there. I'm going to stop and get y'all some water. Morning. Poor babies. We know how they feel, right? Three and a half hours sleep. Trying to get these babies home. We're going to go get some ice and some water. And then we're going to be heading. Okay. Okay, so we have the guys this afternoon building a separate pen for our registered male cooney coonies we're going to be moving uh alexander hamilton in here he's the little one you see in there in the middle and then we're going to be moving boris and buddy in here as well buddy is a barrow which means he's cut so he's here to be their buddy that's why we Named him Buddy, so whenever we pull a, a boar out to go breed, the other boar will still have a friend in there to keep him company. So, this part of the property, we had pig pens up here last year. You guys can kind of see still parts of them still on there. Um, and the pigs were fed pumpkins in the fall, which ended up with some volunteer pumpkin plants out here this year. Uh, we're calling them poopkins, because that's probably where the pumpkin seeds came from. Um, so, I'm out here today to harvest some of these and take them over to the uh, pigs and feed them which is the you know ultimate recycling program so here we go it's been super hot out here and I was sick last week so I didn't get out here to get all of them looks like one of them over here there has not made it but I got a couple really good ones over here Let's see if I can cut this off of the the vine with one hand while I'm filming. Ha! Make use of the feet there. Okay. So that's one pumpkin over there. Alright, let's see if we can get this one cut from the vine. What's really cool about this is that these are free food. The only work I'm having to put into these is picking them, taking them to the pigs. And this is really hard to do with a camera in my hand. So 
let's see if I can now manage this. Okay. Here we go. Okay, guys, they are like having a hissy fit because they know a treat's coming. Not only are these pumpkins really good for them, but these seeds also are a natural dewormer for them. So, they know it's coming, you hear them? <laughs> so, let's see. Okay, you ready guys? Here comes one. There they go. They love these pumpkins. That's Clark Norris. He just stole the other part of the pumpkin. Y'all, get your own treats. These treats are for the pigs. There we go, guys. <laughs> Patsy Swan says, Chickens, get away from my pumpkin. Okay, I chopped that other pumpkin up into four pieces to give to our registered pigs. Dolly's being a little bit extra over there right now. She's not used to these other pigs yet. But we're going to throw some uh, pumpkin in there for them. Oops, sorry. Dolly's going to run off with her. So, I also picked some cucumbers from the garden that I let sit out there too long, so those are going to go in here as well. Oops. Sorry, buddy. So, this way, everybody gets a nice, cool treat today. Oh, look at that, buddy. He's got his own big piece of pumpkin there. Come on guys, come get the cucumbers. Oops, buddy, I'm sorry, baby. I am not trying to hit you up. Oh, Natasha's got a cucumber there. That's a yummy cucumber. Here, Boris. As you can see, we finally got everybody situated in here. This is our mail pen. We've got Buddy and Boris in here right now. We tried to put Alexander Hamilton in there with them, and he missed his surrogate mamas so much that we went ahead and put him back in there with them. Uh, he's okay for a little while. He's not quite ready to breed anyway. Uh-oh, guys. Come on. Don't fuss over it. So over here in the female pen, we've got Penelope right here in the front. She's uh, almost a cream ginger color with the black spots. And then the dark one over here, that's Natasha. She's a breeding pair with Boris. And then we have Miss Dolly over here. They're all having a snack out here today, so we finally got everybody settled in. This, along with uh, our unregistered Cooney Coonies over there, this will be our core breeding stock. Our piglets from these registered pigs will be sold as registered piglets. The piglets that we get from our non-registered breeding stock uh, will be uh, meat pigs. Well, guys, this has been a busy week trying to get all of our Cooney Cooney breeding stock in place here. And uh, we've got a few of these little guys that are going to have to grow up just a little smidgen before we're ready to start doing some breeding, but at least now we've got everybody in place. Our next big project that we're working on is getting some movable fences out in an area where we can have them pasture in the woods. That way they have the opportunity to eat a lot of uh, brush and grass and it's a lot healthier for them than just giving them feed alone. 
So our next project will be that Tim will continue to clear out some area in the woods and we will be preparing to put those fences out as well. So thank you for hanging out with us this week while we're trying to get our pigs all situated. And uh, we'd like to ask that y'all subscribe to our channel so you can see more videos. And uh, be sure to click those like buttons as well. Thanks so much.